to counter the threat of those who seek to rule by force, we must pay the cost of our own needed military strength and help to build the security of others. The NATO Defense Treaty pledges us all to the common defense to regard an attack upon one as an attack upon all. There must be no wavering by us, nor any doubts by others, that America will meet her responsibilities to remain free, secure, and at peace. We've been here for over 70 years, from World War II to the Cold War to the present. We've been committed to maintaining peace and stability in the region. We have 51 countries within our area of responsibility. Our presence proves to our allies and our partners that, that we're here for the long haul. The mission of U.S. Army Europe is to provide ready, combat-credible land forces to deter any aggression um, from any potential adversary here in the European Command. So the mission of U.S. Army Europe is vital to what we do here as NATO and U.S. Army Coalition. We do train a lot. Uh, we train to fight and we train to win. And the reason why we do that is to make sure that we're always ready, mission capable. And we train a lot with the allied countries so that way we're all on the same page. We're all able to defend each other and we're all readily available at a moment's notice. There's no better way to understand how somebody fights than to actually fight alongside them. So you're not reading about their doctrine, you're actually fighting with them. And obviously it really just broadens your perspective on things other than the United States and other than the United States military. So it's really interesting working with other nations. Our presence here in Europe is important due to the growing volatility of today's international environment. Together, the U.S. and Europe are facing a growing number of threats. Generally, we, we do not uh, go to war without partners and allies. Um, so building interoperability between our partners and allies is essential to be able to uh, fight and win our nation's wars. I think that what we do um, in Germany and, and abroad matters um, and, and our, our missions and how we operate um, both in exercises uh, and in real world missions has a lasting impact on our relationships with our, our partners and allies. Both working and living in, in Europe is great. Being able to, to travel uh, to, to different countries, I've been able to, to really travel all throughout Europe. I've been um, traveling a lot. I've been to 15 countries. I've been to Switzerland, Austria, to UK. I've been to Iceland, uh, Spain, and Portugal pretty much all over. Traveling is one of the biggest things that we, we appreciate about being here. We've been to Paris, um, we've been to uh, the south of France, we just visited Monaco, and the schools, the, the Dodia schools, uh, my kids have been just amazed with all of the, the opportunities that that has uh, open for them. Well, they offer robotics and they offer uh, multiple languages, they offer a theater program, they offer um, engineering and physics and anything that the students really are interested in, in addition to the plethora of sporting events and opportunities that they have there with great coaches. Uh, we have world-class facilities here in Europe, um, state-of-the-art fitness centers, auto skill centers where you can work on your car, golf courses, bowling alleys, um, even the exchange where you can shop tax-free. Basically anything that you want from back home, we have it here in Europe. If you can come to Europe, I absolutely say do it. For sure take this assignment. This has been the best assignment I've had in my entire career. I say absolutely go for it. Absolutely go for U.S. Army Europe. You won't regret it.